So the first thing that I want to do is key in import operator from pprint, pretty print, import pretty print as pp. And now pretty print the following. Give me a directory listing of everything that's in the operator module. And I hit enter and I get a list of them all. Scooch up towards the top. Now we know where to start. And these are the first three functions that we'll deal with in the operator module. Absolute, add, and and underscore. So I begin by doing the following. From operator, import, star. Okay, let's get to work. A is equal to 5. B is equal to 6. And I'm going to key in add a comma b, and I should get 11. I can assign that, of course, to another variable, like so. And then print that out like so. So we just did add, and inadvertently skipped over absolute. Let's do absolute now. Let's say that a was equal to negative 55. What would be the absolute value of a? That would be positive 55. You can, of course, assign that to an L value and get the same result. So we've now done absolute and add. Let's do this next one, and underscore. I'm going to key in a equals 0. B equals 1, and C equals 1. Now I'm going to and these guys together. I'm going to and underscore A, which is 0, with B, which is 1. If you and a 0 and a 1 together, you're going to get a 0. Both have to be 1 in order to get a logical one response from an AND operation. Now, I got a zero. Now, what I just said, I'm going to make that very clear to you in just another moment. Let's do one more operation like this. AND underscore, and I'm going to feed it B, which is one, and C, which is one. When both of the variables inside the parentheses being fed to the AND function, are ones, the output is going to be a one. If there are any other combination, zero, one, one, zero, 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 you're going to get a zero. Well, let's see if this is true. And we get a one out of this. That's sort of hard to conceptualize unless you're looking at digital logic software. Using multimedia magic, I'm going to put two switches, one and two, onto the screen. And then I'm going to put a digital AND gate here and an LED right there. And let me make this look neat. And now I'm going to hook up this electronic circuit and switch to the AND gate, the other switch to the AND gate's input, and then the output to the LED. And now I'll make it look a little bit nice. Now let's run the simulator on this. When both inputs are zero, the output is zero. When one input is a one, and the other one's a zero, output is zero. If this guy is a one, but this guy's a zero, again, you get a zero. But when both of these guys are a logical one on this input, watch what happens. The light goes on. A one and a one means power gets through. So, we need power coming in here and power coming in here. Then the gate goes up and the power goes through and the lights go on. And this is called a logic gate. And this is a programmatic representation of that logic gate. When the end gate gets a 1 and a 1 on its input, it outputs a 1 all the time. Once again, 0, 0, you get a 0. Zero one, you get a zero. One zero, you get a zero.
with one and a one, you get logical one output. So we've covered these three methods of the operator module. This is George Ball. I hope this has been helpful. Please rate the video. I'd appreciate that by clicking on the like button. And good luck.